Hello and good Wednesday, January 9th, 2007. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. Last week, Iowa kicked off the presidential nominating process in the United States and they selected Huckabee and Obama from the Republican and Democratic parties respectively. But who did the selecting? And how many of them were there? Rocket Boom field correspondent, as well as nice guy, and sometimes silly executive director of the nonpartisan election reform group of the United States Wide Tuesday, Jacob Soberoff, is on the case. Jacob? Hey, what's going on, Joanne? Thanks a lot. Uh, we're here right now on the streets of Iowa covering the 2008 Iowa caucuses for Why Tuesday, but more specifically, we're here covering what we're calling the UnCaucus. Who's not able to participate in the Iowa caucuses and why that is? So on the day of the caucus, our first stop was Des Moines Fire Station number 4 to find out a little bit more. Right now, we've brought in extra people. They're paying uh, guys overtime. Typically, anyone that wanted to vote would submit a form a couple days ahead of time. They'd allow them to be off to vote. Uh, this time, uh, because of security, they've held back, and they're just not allowing people off. Our next stop was Mercy Hospital to see if hospital employees were going to caucus. Um, our job is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You think people aren't going to be able to get time off tonight? No. Why is that? Well, because people need to be cared for, and... I doubt it. So are you going to be caucusing tonight? No. And why aren't you going to be caucusing? Because I have kids at home. No, I'm not. You're not? Um, no. Why aren't you? Because I'm a felon. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And I just haven't made up my mind because when you get out of here, you just don't know what you want to do. Yeah. But if I could get my voting rights back, I would. Good afternoon. I'm sure. clean. Why? Yeah. Hey. Because I'm not going to go. I get off late. I'm I can't. My husband's out of town. I have to be with the baby tonight. This year, Iowa saw record-breaking levels of turnout in their caucuses. An additional 223,000 voters showed up. But despite an invigorated public turnout and over 65% turnout in the 2004 general election, turnout in this year's Iowa caucuses was a dismal 16.4%. New Hampshire's primary ranks above most others in voter turnout. Stay tuned to Y2Stay.org for more. For Y Tuesday, this is Jacob Soberoff. We'll talk to you guys later. Thank you, Jacob, and be sure to check out whytuesday.org. I mean, you, not Jacob, because Jacob's already seen whytuesday.org, but you could check out whytuesday.org. Anyway, then the world said, let there be Chuck. Oh, hello, friends. Well, we survived Iowa, barely with a team of ground hounds from Minnesota, Colorado, and yes, even a native Iowan, we set out to find good stories about the Iowa caucuses. I'm in Fort Dodge, Iowa, interviewing a woman named Beth, who is a lifelong Republican and is leaning towards Barack Obama. Well, I'm Beth Colby Plouts, and we're in Fort Dodge, Iowa, at Sun Market in Delhi, in the heart of Fort Dodge. Someone's going to take Adam's picture. Okay, good job. Thanks, guys. He has Angelman syndrome. It's a deletion of the 15th chromosome. So he will need care the rest of his life. Too, I guess, with him, too, that's, that's changed me is the no child left behind. Because so much of the no child left behind, if you really research it, would leave him behind. So who are you and what are you doing? My name's Steve Garfield, and I'm broadcasting video from the cell phone live. And where are you, where are you broadcasting it to? The internet. <laughs> the cloud. Yeah. So there's this website called Quick. So here's Quick, Q-I-K, can you see it? Yep. So when I press that, it brings it onto a camera. It's connecting to the network. And the camera's ready, so when I hit this button, stream, we're going to be streaming live to the internet. I mean, right like this. Oh, right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I'm walking down the street, and they're like, that's Duncan Hunter. You know, what's happening? He's rushing over to CNN, because he was excluded from the ABC and Fox debate. So, I'm like, can I uh, broadcast you live? And they're like, oh, well, you have to talk to the coordinator and everything. I was like, no, 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 not with any huge cameras or anything, with this, right now. It's just like, oh, okay, go ahead and talk to him. I, I just walked up with this, and I said, hey, can you tell me, what are you going to announce? So, what did you just announce to the world? Yeah. Oh, we just uh, told them that we, the uh, CNN and, or uh, Fox and ABC uh, blanked us out of the last two debates, as you know. Uh, and they've been asking me when I'm going to get out of the race and when I'm going to quit, and my answer is no I'm way, not. No way! Okay, okay, great. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Good stories are, are out there for the taking. 
We like to think we found a few here in Iowa. For Veracifier and the entire Uptake team, I'm Chuck Olson. Rocket Boom Field correspondent Chuck Olson, ladies and gentlemen, pimp daddy of the uptake. And congratulations to the uptake for their work in Iowa and New Hampshire. So far, from scratch, they've put together four journalists from Minnesota, one from Colorado, and a couple of Iowans to cover the caucuses. The final election for president is still months away, of course, so it's good to know we'll have access to the front lines of the election process.